Hey guys, Adam here from DirectionTrader.com. Let's do today's mid-morning looking forward video. Um, going to talk here about the stock index features. It is May 5th. It's Monday, guys. And this is about 9.05 on the West Coast, so just after 11 o'clock Central. Very interesting trading day. We're going to talk about the stock index features, guys, and we're going to talk about the bonds and what's going on here. Um, if you go back to last week's video, I talked a lot about um, the S&P and the Russell, and I said basically... Um, without a doubt, we're still holding to the upside, guys. We're still above any major support. We're, we are testing resistance, so that thing that is what I'm worried about. Um, but anytime we can, we, we get a pullback here on the S&P, I'm just considering that a buying opportunity. Same way with the Russell and so on and so forth. I said as long as the S&P can hold its 8 and 21 period moving average, I will still look for buying opportunities. We start to break below there. I'm going to wait for a little deeper pullback to find some support. And look for opportunities to the downside until then. So um, no, that's exactly what we did today, bottom line, guys. Um, we are at these resistance. We're not selling off, but we're not pushing higher. So we got quite a dilemma here. Um, if we are able to push higher here, it's going to be off to the races because there's absolutely nothing to stop us. But we are having the bonds up a little bit higher. So as long as we hold the um, the 21 and the 8 period moving average here on the S&P, I'm going to continue to look for long side opportunities and continue to be bullish on this market. Now, we put in a nice low today. We put in a nice low this morning, so that could be used moving forward. If we do break below uh, today's low, we got some downside movement here that we can look for moving forward. Let's go over to the Russell here and talk about the Russell. Today in the Russell, we took two trades. Bottom line, what happened here was we have this support down here on the Russell that comes through here, this nice support area. And if you look back here recently, we've really created these big candle wicks to the downside. This area of accumulation and then blast off to the upside. And we talked about this early this morning in the trading room. If we get down into this range here, into this accumulation area, into this, um, this area here, uh, the, the past year we've had intraday bounces, intraday bounces. If you go back uh, over the last two weeks, every time we've come down in this area, this bounce has all happened intraday. Basically, we get a sell-off, we find some support, and then this all gives it all back on an intraday basis. So it's very interesting. Today was no different. We had this pop down in here, and we had an intraday bounce. That's when we got our opportunity. If we go right down here to the... Let's just pull up a smaller time frame here, guys, and I'll show you what we were looking for. Basically, um, today, whenever we got this bounce off the low, we were waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting until we found somewhat of a base. As we found this base down here, this is whenever the market got into that accumulation area, that, uh, that, that, that containment ship area I was just now showing you on the dailies. We were just waiting here. Were we going to continue to grind our way lower, or were we actually going to get a pop like we've been getting? We got a pop to the upside, took a pullback for a nice 55 tick winner here, back to the upside. Took a nice trade here, back to the upside for a nice 50 plus tick winner here per contract. So, and that's all we did. We used the we used the exact same trading mentality that we used last week and the week before. Whenever the market comes down to this 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 uh, basically this support area on the daily chart, we just waited, and then sure enough, we got that push right back to the upside. We simply took a Fibonacci pullback, got a nice entry, and then was able to go ahead and take that entire swing off up here a little bit higher. Took uh, off here at the 21s actually. So, uh, really good intraday trade setup. And a really good opportunity that we took today in the morning in the live trading room. So, but moving forward, what do we see here? We're still holding that area. As long as we keep on holding this area, I'm going to keep looking for the same stuff here. Um, basically, looking at a smaller intraday time frame to find them reversal opportunities back to the upside. Now we do have a lot of momentum here pushing down us on the Russell. So I'm not going to be, um, you know. Uh, any type of long the Russell until we can get start to break some of these uh, previous swing highs. We get above the highs from Friday, that's going to get me a little more bullish. That's going to get me above the 8 period, above the 21 period. But until then, I'm going to be very cautious because we have these candle wicks from Thursday and Friday and we got these candle wicks from the last two weeks. So the market's really getting pinched in here and time to be very, very cautious. So we look over here at the bonds real fast. This video is getting a little bit longer than I like. So the bonds here. Let's be very, very careful here because the bonds has this resistance that we've tested here and also that's resistance in the past. We got the breakout, guys. Can the bonds and the S&P go up at the same time? Yes, they can. 
but most likely if the bonds are wanting to head higher we'll get them stock index futures to roll over and get a little bit of weakness that's not happening yet um, the bonds are pushing up the indexes on the, especially the stock index and the, and the, uh, the s p and the dow are holding fairly strong here so very curious how we're going to react whenever the bonds come back and retest this support which used to be resistance are they going to give it all up and head back down to these lows or are we going to get another bounce and if we get a bounce i'm going to start to look for weakness in the stock index futures so i hope this video helps guys i hope it all made sense i hope it's able to help you moving forward and choosing uh, the right prices and, and how to identify support and resistance and just keep yourself out of the chop you know for the most part but uh, if you have any questions, um, go ahead and email me, adam at directiontrader.com. I'm pretty good at getting back to my emails. But um, feel free to go ahead and email me, adam at directiontrader.com. If not, thanks for watching these videos, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Have a good afternoon.